In this video, we are going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to break down and clean your Springfield 1911. We're dealing with a potentially deadly weapon here, so please, make sure the magazine is out and the gun is unloaded before attempting to clean it. Once you're sure of that, lower the slide back down. To start disassembling, push down on the recoil spring plug with your thumb. Rotate the barrel bushing clockwise. Let the tension out of the spring and then set the recoil spring plug to the side. You can now take the spring out. Rotate the barrel bushing counterclockwise until it stops. You can now take it out and place it to the side. Next, move the slide so the disassembly notch lines up with the slide stop like in the example here. At this point, you could remove the slide stop. Now, simply push the slide forward. Take out the recoil spring guide and then push the barrel out of the front of the slide. Now that you have all your parts laid out, Grab some sort of container to put them in so that you can soak them in some CLP while keeping them organized and from getting lost. The CLP is going to be doing the heavy lifting in the gun cleaning department. So after placing everything in your gun cleaning tray, give all the parts a thorough spray down. Be sure to spray down both ends of the bore as well. Essentially, if it's made of metal, you want to spray it. This includes the frame, of course. Now, normally you want to let the CLP do its magic for 10 minutes or so, but we'll spare you the boredom here and continue on. Grab some gun cleaning brushes next. This is how you're going to really break up the carbon and gunk that may have collected in your handgun. You'll want to get all the parts in the tray, being sure to scrub all surfaces. If it looks dirty, clean it. There is no secret to it. Get to work and get at all the parts. We won't show you every brush stroke here. However, do pay special attention to the breech face. Also, be sure to get inside the frame, paying attention to the rails. After that, some gun cleaning swabs come in handy. There are places that your gun cleaning cloth just won't be able to reach. This is where the swabs come in handy. Get all the hard to reach areas. The ones with a pointed end are extra handy as they get into areas nothing else can. We'll show you a few spots to be sure to get here and then we'll move on. Alright, almost there. Now get a durable gun cleaning cloth. Stay away from paper towels as they tear easily and can leave little pieces of itself in your gun. Something that is tough and reusable is ideal. Be sure to get all CLP off the parts and then move on to the next one. Last but not least, we're going to clean the 1911's bore. Grab a bore cleaning kit of the appropriate caliber. Ours is chambered in a 45, so that's what we'll use. Send the bore cleaning kit down the breech end of the bore. Pull it through. Often, one time through is enough. Now, before assembling your Springfield 1911, you'll want to lubricate it. A little CLP in the frame, and a little on the barrel and some on the slide. Now it's time for reassembly. Take the barrel and push the barrel link forward. You can now replace the barrel Breach end first into the front of the slide. Place the recoil spring guide back on the barrel. There is a concave face that you'll want to make sure is the side that lays down on the barrel. After that, insert the slide on the frame and push it back so the disassembly notch lines up with the square hole of the slide stop. At this point, you could reinsert the slide stop. You'll need to push the barrel in or out to get the hole in the barrel link to line up. Rotate the slide stop counterclockwise and push down to set it into place. You can now move the slide forward in order to engage the safety. This will help make the rest of the reassembly easier. Now reinsert the barrel bushing in the position shown. Once you can push that down, rotate it clockwise until it stops. Now take the spring and insert it, flat end in first. Take the recoil spring plug and insert it over the spring. Push it down and rotate the barrel bushing so it catches the edge of the plug. Press the plug down a little further and rotate the bushing until it is seated. Release the safety and rack the slide a few times to make sure everything feels smooth. Wipe down any excess CLP on the exterior of the gun. 
And there you go, a cleaned and lubricated Springfield 1911. Sage and Breaker, crafted at the highest caliber.